In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the best concept in Madden 22 that we find in the gun bunch formation actually originated out of the compression tight. And we're going to run this concept in trips tight end. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. And it just allows you to know whenever we release new videos. We release new videos every single day. The goal of our channel here is to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I'd really recommend subscribing. Now, like I said, we're going to talk about a concept today that is uh, kind of the meta concept. I think that, you know, the big picture of Madden 22 really most offenses kind of build off of this one core concept and that is the wheel route right but we're going to talk about how you can do it on trip side in here in just a second i just want to kind of teach the the basic premise of this from the bunch now guys also wanted to quickly mention that if you're not a patreon member yet i'd really encourage you to do that um, it's just ten dollars a month and by joining you get access to all of my uh offensive and defensive ebooks we've got bunch in there trips in there you trips we've got spread we've got tight uh, we've got a lot of stuff on the way in that Patreon as well. We update it pretty much every week. Um, there's new ebooks that are coming out one, two, three times a month. So I'd really encourage you to join that Patreon. Um, again, it's just ten bucks. There'll be a link in the description you can join. And uh, and again, it's just ten bucks. So, uh, anyways, let's take a look here at Mesh Spot. So this is out of Bunch. A lot of Bunch playbooks have this, um, and a lot of and New England has it as well, of course, because New England's probably got the best. Uh, overall playbook in this game but what makes this concept so tough is the meta in, in Madden 22 is Maybelline right we're gonna double flat right that's that's basically the meta okay well if we put this outside receiver on an out we put the outside slot on a flat and then we streak R1 both of these wheels um, you're gonna see are gonna get open as you can see right there on the left side and then on the right side even if we go to like a cover two style of defense if you have this uh, streak here a lot of times it'll pull the vert hook out of the way and you can kind of low ball that now again it's it's primarily because i have bad spacing but you can hit that tight end i'll flip the play to show you kind of what i'm talking about so again we'll just flip this and i'll show you i'll set up the defense so this is kind of a, a tampa two style uh, a coverage we're going to double flat out of it obviously your running back's going to be wide open but we're going to mirror as if the user goes to guard him and then now what you're going to be left with here is you're going to have this right here you can motion this flat out if you want just a little better spacing uh, but what you should see is you can throw that kind of right in that little window and you can beat one of the better coverages in this game and not only can you beat the mabel but you can also beat the cover two. You can also, you know, you can beat a lot of different defenses with this. Um, I'm going to share here real quick. I'm going to flip it again, but I want to show how this also is very, very effective against man coverage. And what makes it so good against man is you're just going to low ball. So you're just going to low ball and kind of cut it off, and you're going to or inside pass lead. And oftentimes against man to man. Um, you're going to be able to to hit it now. I'll show it back here on the other side this time Obviously the running backs wide open But if they go to the running back you see how I can just kind of cut it off just like that. That's kind of what I'm getting at Okay, so This actually originated from gun tight um, But I want to take this concept and kind of apply it to trips tight in in this video And, and like I said if you want to get my full ebooks on trips or on bunch they're on the patreon again There's a link in the description uh, if you want to check it out but pa shot wheel gives us this wheel route to the inside slot and what we can do from trips is have really good spacing and we can use motion to kind of set this up so um, first and foremost i want to i want to just kind of go over the you know kind of standard little cover three blitz here with a hard flat something very popular and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the outside receiver on an out route and then we're going to take Miller here and honestly you could do whatever you want with him okay you could streak him if you want to um, and, and you see we basically have recreated the bunch now here what you're gonna notice is against a cover three blitz that wheel is gonna get wide open and I'll show it again what's really cool about this though is oftentimes their users over here because they've got to kind of watch the run and this is where trips tight end starts to become better to bunch in my opinion 
because what we get from this is we get this really amazing way to hold their user in the middle of the field without even having to have a route that holds their user in the middle of the field, as you can see, and we're still able to hit this. Now, a lot of the people in Madden 22, they really like to blitz out of a cover two shell because, you know, cover two shell this year, you know, gives you a decent underneath coverage. Well, and it gives you vert hooks. Well, what you'll see here is we can pass lead this to the outside against a cover two blitz, and we can pass lead to inside against a cover three blitz. Now, if we think this out a little bit, now what they're gonna start doing is they're gonna say, well, you know, we're gonna run some coverage defense on you. We're gonna run some cloud flats. You know, we're gonna run a vert hook and try to kind of lock this down. Well, whenever they start to do that, again, it's just like the bunch, if you will. And what you'll see here, you're just gonna low ball that in the seam. And as you can see, it gets wide open. Now, where this gets really, really crazy is how we can actually use this um, to beat man to man. Now, for the purpose of this illustration here, we're actually going to send five out of our man pressure out of like a cover one, and then we'll talk about you know kind of some of the rest of this. But anyway, what you'll see here is you get this man coverage. You're just going to low ball, pass lead inside. You're going to click on and undercut it. And as you can see, we can user catch that wheel against man to man. So they can't man it up. They can't just play Mabel. There, there's a lot that they have to kind of account for. Now where this gets even crazier is in a situation like I'm about to show you where. Let's say, for example, they're just running to the wheel route of the snap of the play. Well, now we can run a concept that I've talked about before here on the channel, and that is um, this flat route to the outside slot and the wheel to the running back. So now what we can do is you're going to see that we're going to have a concept that looks kind of like this. And now, as you can see, this wheel to the running back, one of the best routes in the game, becomes very effective, and we can hit the defense in that direction. So we just put the defense in, like, such a – I mean, such a bind. There's not a lot of good answers for this, really. There really isn't. Um, and the cool part about this is with, with this wheel, what we can, uh, from PA shot wheel, we could take that tight end, put him on like a curl or a tight end apprentice post. Now the yellow zones are going to really struggle to guard this. And now you see right here, we get all this space to throw that wheel. And I apologize, I messed up. If you get a man look like that, you obviously don't want low ball. You want to pass lead that away from the guy. Uh, but let me just show just kind of a basic, let me just show kind of like a basic man-to-man. -man. And what you'll see here is, I mean, you don't have to have tight end apprentice. You can just use a curl, but I like the tight end apprentice post. But anyways, you'll see right here, just low ball that. Now you just come underneath it and aggressive catch or cut it off or possession catch. And now you've got a concept that is borderline better, in my opinion, uh, than the concept from bunch because look at how we can use spacing within all of this to have I mean just really really good spacing for these wheels it gives them a lot of room to be able to work and then obviously you still have the middle of the field is wide open for the tight end uh, and, and, and if the tight end wants to to work then he certainly can do that as well you know one of the route, most underrated routes I think in this game is the trail route to the tight end so you could do something like this where you Kind of motion like this and now you have a trail route coming over here which is a little shallower than a post just kind of really working that underneath of the field and just putting the defense in a real tough position i think um and what's really really cool is you know if they go with like a cover zero style uh, defense and they're kind of falling asleep here and they're not worried about the deep bomb well you'll see that this wheel route once it cuts up field if you pass lead that to the left especially against cover two man Oftentimes you're going to be able to get it open and you can bomb uh, a press man alignment type like type like that. So now what they have to do is they have to go uh, with like a shaded up kind of look. And when they start shading up against these wheels, that's where these really become overpowered. You'll see right here, just low ball, pass lead inside, cut it off. And I mean, it's just real tough. So I just wanted to break this concept down. I thought it was really interesting. If you want to learn more about this offense, Again, everything's in the Patreon. All my eBooks in the Patreon. So if you want to get it, ten dollars a month. You can sign up at the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want to sign up, head on down to the description of the video and click that link that I put down there for you.